I is no longer subject to designations and he envisions everything as spiritual in connection with the Supreme Lord. So we are seeing different bodies, right? We are seeing, oh, this is an animal, this is a bird, this is a tree. We are not able to see the soul. So we are, we are looking at the living entity in terms of the body. But actually, there is a soul inside. This is explained by Srila Rupa Goswami in his Bhakti Rasa Mitsindhu 12255. Anasaktasya vishaya yatharha upayunjataha nirbandha krishna sambande yuktam vairagya mochyate. The liberated person has no attachment for anything material or for sense gratification. He understands that everything is connected with the Supreme Personality of Godhead and that every sh everything should be engaged in the service of the Lord. So this is the perfection. When we can understand, this is liberation. Understanding, everything belongs to Krishna and so everything should be engaged in service of Krishna. There's no question of renouncing anything because the Paramhamsa knows how to engage everything in the service of the Lord. So there's no artificial renunciation. Rupa Goswami says, you know, artificially we renounce, but it didn't belong to us in the first place. So what we are saying, I renounce. How can we renounce something that does not belong to us? So the real renunciation means engaging everything in the service of whom it belongs to. Everything belongs to Krishna. So engaging everything in Krishna's service, that is a real renouncement. Because then the false ego is not there. Know that, oh, I am renouncing. So originally everything is spiritual, nothing is material. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya 8.274, also it is explained that a Mahabhagavad, a highly advanced devotee, has no material vision. Stavara Jangama deke na deke taramurti sarvatra hayanija ishta deva spurti. Although he sees trees, mountains, and other living entities moving here and there, he sees all as the creation of the Supreme Lord and, with reference to the context, sees only the Creator and not the created. In other words, he no longer distinguishes between the created and the Creator. He sees only the Supreme Personality of Godhead in everything. He sees Krishna in everything and everything in Krishna. This is oneness. So how does a pure devotee see? Not that everything has become Krishna, but he understands that everything belongs to Krishna. Just as the mother sees the bag of her son, she immediately remembers her son. She understands the bag is, belongs to my son. So similarly, the pure devotee, he sees everything and he remembers Krishna immediately. He understands everything is belonging to Krishna. This is what he's trying to say. He sees only the Supreme Personality of God and everything. He sees everything belonging to Krishna. Not that, you know, that Krishna does not exist anymore, that Krishna has become everything. No, that everything belongs to Krishna. Everything is Krishna's energy. Nimitte Sati Sarvatra Nimitte sati sarvatra Jaladav api purushaha Jaladav api purushaha Atmanascha parasyapi Atmanascha parasya parasyapi Bidam pasyati nan yada Bidam pasyati nan yada only because of different causes does a person see a difference between himself and others. Just as one sees the reflection of a body appearing differently manifested on water, on oil or in a mirror. The spirit soul is one, the supreme personality of Godhead. He is manifested in Swamsha and Vibhinamsha expansions. 
the jivas are within amsha expansions the different incarnations of the supreme personality of god in are swamsha expansions so someone will say see i told you i'm god but we have to understand that we are part and parcel of god we are his within amsha expansions yes we are coming from krishna but we are very tiny we are not swamsha expansions we are not uh, the vishnu tatva we are his jiva tatva thus there are different potencies of the supreme lord and there are different expansions of the different potencies in this way for different reasons there are different expansions of the same one principle the supreme personality of god is so everything comes from krishna everything belongs to krishna we say god is omnipotent this is how we understand he is omnipotent one and different everything belongs to krishna so everything is krishna rather we say is either krishna or krishnas because krishnas why belonging to krishna like that not that krishna has become many no belonging to krishna this understanding is real knowledge so really understanding how god is omnipotent we say god is omnipotent then we have to understand that these are all are his energies we are his energy also material world is his energy but when the living entity is covered by the opadi or designate body he sees differences exactly as one sees differences in reflections of one's self on water on oil or in a mirror no because now we are thinking we are the body so we are thinking all the other living entities also we are thinking as the body or oh, this one is a dog this is a tree this is a cat you know we are we are not able to understand that we are all spirit souls when something is reflected on the water it appears to be moving when it is reflected on ice it appears fixed when it is reflected on oil it appears hazy the subject is one but under different conditions it appears differently when the qualifying factor is taken away the whole appears to be one in other words when one comes to the paramhamsa or perfectional stage of life by practicing bhakti yoga he sees only krishna everywhere for him there is no other objective because he has love for krishna lord brahma ji says that how we can see krishna everywhere when we when we anoint our eyes with a salve of love then we will see krishna everywhere why because everything belongs to krishna everywhere is krishna's energy in conclusion due to different causes the living entity is visible in different forms as an animal human being demigod tree etc actually every living entity is the marginal potency of the supreme lord in bhagavad gita 5.18 therefore it is explained that one who actually sees the spirit soul does not distinguish between a learned brahmana and a dog an elephant or a cow so why is the living entity called marginal potency of the lord what's the meaning of marginal potency marginal means like it is in the middle in between the superior energy and the uh, inferior energy so it can sometimes go it can go up to the superior energy and sometimes it can go down it can fall down yeah the to the inferior. inferior yes yeah. that's right that's right thank you so pandita samadarshina one who is actually learned sees only the living entity not the out outward covering so we we are seeing differences right dog elephant cow but but krishna says in bhagavad gita one who is pandita samadarshina one who is actually learned he understands the truth he sees everywhere that this is a living entity part and parcel of krishna he is not seeing the different bodies differentiation is therefore the result of karma of fruitive activities and when we stop fruitive activities 
Turning them into acts of devotion, we can understand that we are not different from anyone else regardless of the form. This is only possible in Krishna consciousness. So Prabhupada is saying that when we start engaging in devotional service, then we will be able to understand how we are all spirit souls, parts and parcels of Krishna. We are not these bodies that we are thinking here. Yeah. In this movement, there are many different races of men from all parts of the world participating. But because they think of themselves as servants of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, they do not differentiate between black and white, yellow and red. The Krishna consciousness movement is therefore the only means to make the living entities free of all designations. So our real identity is Jivera Swarupai Krishna Nityadas. I am eternal servant of Krishna. That's why Krishna is saying surrender to me, no? Because that's our constitutional position. But under this false ego, we are thinking, I'm human being, I'm a grass, I'm a bird, you know, different designations. Is one okay? question. Yeah, one question. The soul is Satchita Nan. Okay, right? So yes. is the quality of each, the degree, like the quality of each soul different or is the same? It's the same. Same, it right? is such a because yeah. it's only like it's been covered by the covering of the body, that's why it looks different, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so so very good point. It's not that the soul inside the ant is small and the soul inside the elephant is big, mm -hmm. you know, the it's size the of the soul is one ten thousand the tip of the hair, right? So it's the same for every, right? yeah, every. Okay. Yeah. Our size is fixed. Yeah. So we'll stop here for today. Sorry that I was so short. No problem. Yeah. La Prabhupada Kiche or Bhaktamin Kiche. Hare Krishna.